the intermediate value theorem. If we have a polynomial function f of x and we have outputs f of a less than 0 and f of b greater than 0, then there's some c between a and b so that f of c is 0. In plain language, two points on a polynomial function which lie on either side of the x-axis have to have an x-intercept between them. This theorem does not extend enough to say that two points on a polynomial function which lie on the same side of the x-axis don't have an x-intercept between them. We would need more information to figure this part out. In this situation, there could be no x-intercept, one x-intercept, or two x-intercepts. We might use the intermediate value theorem to narrow down whether or not there's a zero in a certain interval without having to solve for the zeros. In the function m of b equals 6.7b to the 7th minus b to the 6th plus 3.2b squared minus b plus 1, I can use the intermediate value theorem to determine whether or not there are zeros on the interval negative 9, 1. Note that in certain cases, we'll need to pay attention to whether the interval has parentheses or brackets. To use the theorem, I need to see where m of negative 9 is. Using my calculator to find it, I see that it's negative. Very, very negative. Using my calculator again to find f of positive 1, I see this number is positive. Since they are on opposite sides of the x-axis, there must be a 0 between them, so my answer is yes, there is a 0 in the interval. If they had not been on opposite sides, my answer would have to be I don't know, since I wouldn't be able to tell from the theorem alone. You are now able to use the intermediate value theorem to determine if an interval has a zero in it. You can use this theorem to assist you in sketching an estimated graph of a polynomial.